Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome to this evening's technical analysis where I'm going to be going over Litecoin for you all as it was the highest requested coin today over on Twitter. Um, so I wanted to like give back to you all and just say a really big thank you. You know it means so much the support that you show me, like all the likes, the comments, etc. is a real big help for me and it's just really, really appreciated. So I wanted to give back and just go through the whatever the highest requested coin was I was going to cover in the uh, for a technical analysis for you all and the highest requested coin uh, by the amount of comments that was received uh, was Litecoin. So Litecoin is going to be the technical analysis of today. So I do hope that you enjoy this. Um, and yeah, again, thank you all for the support. So yeah, let's go over to the Litecoin chart here and let me explain the reasons where I've got all these numbers from. Okay, so starting out very briefly, we obviously see Litecoin has obviously, you know, over the last year, you seen an extremely strong pullback. But, you know, shorter term, it has seen a very nice recovery. We're talking about 160, around that from the low in December up to the high, around 171%. Okay, so a very strong recovery we've seen. 170% in a few months is, is amazing. And I honestly believe that Litecoin was the lead bull in this space. Obviously, Ethereum starting off nicely as well, but Litecoin really being the lead bull in the space along with Binance coin okay those two have like really given us an alt season <laughs> so thank you Binance coin thank you Litecoin for the lot for the um for the alt seasons that you've given us this mini one uh, has been you know profitable across the board on these alts um, and all thanks to those two coins so obviously that's nice to see where I'm looking at this as a one two three four five so obviously I am expecting the pullback for the four before we come up for a five although if this is not identified as a one two three four five and we're just looking at it as some sort of ABC obviously that's more bearish okay if this is going to be you know identified later down the line as an abc um hence why i'm favoring short positions here okay so where are we what are we looking at here okay why am i favoring shorts and entering into short positions daniel <laughs> so what i'm seeing here there is a confluence of reasons why i'm entering to shorts Okay, firstly, taking from from our swing high way way back here on September the fourth. Okay, from the Fibonacci retracements from that swing high to the swing low. Okay, where have we seen the price getting rejected very nicely? We have seen it getting rejected, obviously, on the seven eight six Fibonacci level. Okay, so the seven eight six clearly acting as resistance here, and we are obviously running into a heavy area of resistance um, horizontally as well. I mean, you just see this whole area right here you know, clear consolidation that went on here, you know, going to be turning into resistance. Obviously, with the speed that we pulled back from, you know, $56 all the way down to $22, you know, this this pullback happened very quickly. So when you pull, go down so fast, you can obviously go up so fast, okay? But now we've obviously gone through the initial drop down and we are getting into more heavy resistance, okay? So there is heavier resistance horizontally around this level, okay? up to around $70 would be my top target if we break up from here, okay? So if we do end up, ooh, sorry, <laughs> if we do um, end up breaking up, my top target would be $70, but I would be cautiously uh, longing if we managed to break the resistance currently of $62, uh, about 13 cents, okay? So that's the biggest short-term resistance. But, you know, before we get up to there, we do have some more resistances to get through here. Firstly, I'd like to show you the, the divergences, the bearish divergences that we have got here on Litecoin. Okay, so obviously, if you look here from the highs of around, you know, middle, end of February up to the highs here at the start of March, Okay, histogram bearishly diverging, MACD diverging bearishly, you know, the RSI here as well, bearishly diverging. Okay, so obviously we're forming lower highs across the board while the price made higher highs. So we are we have got bearish divergences here, you know, strong bearish divergences. Uh, across the board obviously you know we look at the you know we're looking at zooming out a little bit and seeing the point of control point of control is all the way down at 33 dollars we do have a little bit of support you know a little bit of uh, volume coming in around 57 but um you know the the main bulk of the volume is way down at 30 but um that's not just a side metric not one that i'd pay too much attention to in this sort of setup but what we are also seeing here is obviously the 8 and 12 are holding support so it's like a it's like a confluence where we do have you know we do have these bearish signs okay uh, we do have the bearish signs that we we also are you know holding support currently. Uh, what I will do is remove just a second. I, you know why I keep removing things from the charts because I don't want to make it look too confusing for you. All. Um, but yeah, what I've what I've labelled obviously here the seven eight six. You know, finding hot, strong resistance at the seven eight six, and we are obviously running into this region of horizontal resistance as well. What I'd like to show you is the target that we have reached up here when we hit to around sixty dollars more or less uh, psychologically. Obviously, from the extension from the bottom of one to the top of one to the bottom of two. 
And obviously your high target is going to be the 1618 for wave three. Okay. You see here that we come up very, very close. We're talking within like a dollar. We come up to the extension target of the 1618, which for me adds into a resistance level because it's like a target where people that are longing from wave two to play this wave three up, their target's going to be the 1618. So obviously it's going to be resistance as people take profits there. Okay. So we've got a confluence of the 786 and the 618 lining up very nicely in this region up to like the 62. You can see why we fell down because there was like a, a three resistance levels coming together nicely there okay so that was obviously the well, the one the the 618 finding re, you know resistance for the wave three target okay so then obviously i'm expecting oh yeah the, what i wanted to show you as well was this pitchfork which i think was very nice pitchfork to be honest okay let's put this on original okay so obviously we obviously came up straight through to the midpoint of the channel came back down found support on a 0.5 came up to the 0.5 of the other side of the pitchfork come down 0.5 come up 0.5 now on the midpoint of the part of the pitchfork so this pitchfork has been you know quite a decent you know just a a medium to help you trade off of as well um but yeah it's just interesting when you see like 0 0.5 lining up with the 786 coming back down and i've got this as a parallel channel on here so the parallel channel is taken from this the, obviously the high on the 8th 15th of october down to the lows on the 29th of october okay so parallel channel just formed horizontally there so we've got then the equilibrium sort of midpoint uh, which is sat at $55, obviously holding that as well. So we have got support here, uh, you know, a confluence of supports so also from the uh, taken from the wave three. We've also got the 236 uh, very nicely. If, you, if I zoom in here and just show you how lovely this was, that this old resistance, okay, this old resistance flipped into support and we found support of the 236. And this was a long that I took, okay. I can remember this day because it was a day that Bitcoin fell downwards, okay. So Bitcoin fell down quite heavily. Um, and you know that was my opportunity to I like to taking short uh, I like taking longs when everything's going down <laughs> to like sculpt those longs and I remember taking this long from uh, you know line which lined up very nicely with the 236 and this horizontal resistance obviously flips into support okay so yeah that was uh, literally a, a you know quick quick nice gain from a sculpt position on Litecoin. But it is now reaching, you know, a point where we're going to be getting a break, I'd say, within the within the coming days. We're going to be even breaking up and start moving up to these top targets or coming down for the pullback. In my opinion, uh, again, none of this is financial advice, so don't take this as any sort of financial advice. But, um, you know, I'm trading this for a pullback. Um, because I, I I believe it's going to be healthy pullback. You know, it's not a you know not a, nothing crazy, but you know we could get some healthy pullback here to the sort of forty eight forty nine dollar region. Okay, lining up with the two three six here and this old resistance, which you you would expect to flip into support. Okay, so you know short term, I would say I'm I'm more bearish, but obviously. Um, you can argue the bullish arguments as well. We are holding the midpoint of the pitchfork. We are holding, obviously, this uh, $53 region, the old resistance flipping into support. So we could even <laughs> end up going sideways here and getting none of it. Uh, kind of like Bitcoin, uh, but yeah, my my bear my my sort of uh, outlook of this chart is bearish. Okay, I th still see that we are overextended. We are getting the bearish divergences across the board. We are also, if you look at the stochastics, the stochastics are heading down as well. So we're on the daily chart here. Obviously, stochastics coming down. They can find support on the midpoint of this, so we are reaching the midpoint around fifty. But um, yeah, nevertheless, they are heading downwards here. The stochastics as well. Okay. Can see slightly over the last few days we have been forming some higher 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 lows here but overall we're still on the trajectory trajectory i want to say that correctly <laughs> of lower highs as well okay so we could be forming a little pattern here uh, but overall yeah definitely for me this is is looking bearish but there are you know nothing no reason to be overall suddenly turning bearish because you know you look at the exponential moving averages here on the daily as well obviously the 8 and 12 as i mentioned before but also on this of sort of old resistance 618 that could flip into support too you do have the 8 oh, sorry you, you do have the 200 this is the 200 daily moving average okay so the 200 exponential daily and the 26 55 obviously down below with the 100 um so this 200 exponential moving average you would expect to uh, hold nice support as well um so this is a coin for me that i'm looking to more sculpt okay so i love sculpting these sort of scenarios where i will sculpt a breakdown or a sculpt upwards uh swing trading uh, obviously i'm in a short but so i'm bearish on the swing sort of standpoint but for sculpting i would sculpt this in either direction because i see pros and cons to the coin okay um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this and this has explained well my outlook of Litecoin and I'll be doing some more of these like whatever I just want to like real give you know just say a real big thank you for all the support 
I know that you've been showing me. It's honestly so appreciated. Really, really kind of you all. Very, very, very nice. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you for that. Uh, obviously, the link for this write-up can be seen. I'll leave it in the description if you would like, um, so you can come along and, and check this out. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and obviously, uh, I'll, I'll quickly cover. Let's quickly cover uh, quantum. This is a this is a successful sculpt that I took just before making this video. And this is a three percent sculpt, uh, but three percent is three percent. Um, so obviously, quantum today overall was up very strongly. Okay, but what we're seeing here is the 618 okay 618 obviously you get the, the let's zoom out and show you this so you get a strong pump up we come down to the 618 where do we come up to the old the old support flips into resistance this is literally a three percent move okay in and out within you know you're talking a you know an hour um easy three percent trade uh, so that was a a quantum uh, position that i was in i closed it out on this resistance but if we now flip into this and i'll be looking to go back into quantum um, but yeah, there's so much opportunities at the moment, not across all altcoins. Altcoins are still the place to be trading at the moment. While Bitcoin obviously goes sideways. Obviously today, uh, looking at Bitcoin, you just see these crazy wicks where you could totally go up to 3,900 all the way back down to 3,750. You know, these wicks are, are I like these wicks. Uh, they, they liquidate the higher, higher leverage traders or people with really tight stop losses. So these wicks are good to like to remove those sort of high leverage traders. Um, but it's interesting that you sort of start, start to see these massive wicks. They're obviously uh, not great for newer traders to to get accustomed to. But um, yeah, there's nothing to worry about for me. You know, I'm still heavily trading the altcoins. Um, and the yeah, that's where the opportunity lies, uh, without any shadow of a doubt. Um, so yeah, I hope that you've all enjoyed this one. Uh, thank you again so much for watching. And uh, yeah, in the uh, what I would say is uh, for a thank you, if you could like and comment this video just to say thank you, that would be brilliant. And in the description, I will leave links to the uh, Instagram, Facebook. The main one's going to be Facebook, obviously, because the Facebook's new. I haven't had any um, new stuff on Facebook, so I'm going to be trying to push on to Facebook. Um, and wait, because on the Facebook you can leave reviews. <laughs> so if you could come across to Facebook and give it a like and like give a review, uh, say whether I've been helpful or not. Uh, obviously, you can be honest. <laughs> um, so just say whether you enjoyed the content, or, you know how how it's been, um, and that would be really appreciated if you could go to over to the new Facebook page and, and leave a review. I, I think there's like a review section where you can click on like write a review or something like this. <laughs> uh, but somebody wrote a review and it was quite cool. So I thought, yeah, that would be nice if if um, if if you if you have Facebook, most a lot of people don't even have it. So um, if you do have Facebook, then yeah, feel free to give it a like and a, a an honest review. Uh, would be very appreciated if you had the time. Um, but yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Again, thank you everybody so, so, so much. And uh, yeah, the logo competition that I was doing for the logo is probably going to be ending Sunday or Monday. Uh, probably either the end of the week or the start of next week. Um, and then I'll be deciding whoever gets the, done has, has done the nicest logo, choosing them. And obviously they'll get paid for uh, continuing on the work for uh, taking over the branding uh, of the logo and documents, etc. So yeah, that's uh, cool and exciting. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you everybody so much. I hope you have. Obviously, I'm still planning to do the overall Bitcoin Elliott Wave count. So I'm going to be doing the overall Elliott Wave count, which I have planned to probably record tomorrow or Saturday. So there's a lot to look forward to, too, um, which is just going to be focused solely on Elliott Waves. Um, so, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. And again, thank you so much, everybody. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>